people have been asking, uh, when will there be carry permits in the state of Hawaii? And with regard to the Perutive case uh, and the subordinate cases in Richards and the Baker case in Hawaii. Uh, so what I think is an important, but here is what the uh, Solicitor General of the state of Hawaii, Gerard Lau, put in his amicus curiae brief in the Peruta case. And I quote, the entire Ninth Circuit will become a de facto shall issue region. Hallelujah. From your lips to God's ears. Of course, that's not what he wants. But uh, basically, we're nearing the end of the 90-day uh, embank review uh, period. And so in a few days, we should know which way it goes. And uh, probably somebody's there. They need the full 90 days because after they decide, somebody has to write a dissenting opinion. And uh, when that gets filed, then there's probably, I think, 120 days for the SCOTUS appeals to the Supreme Court. So. Uh, basically, uh, what the state of Hawaii Attorney General says is only this court sitting in bank can prevent that. You know, and obviously SCOTUS, if they decide to hear this case to heal the, the splits in different circuit courts that uh, haven't ruled this way. So I assume there will be SCOTUS appeals. And I was looking through the Hawaii uh, state, uh, Hawaii amicus brief, and they have this link this violence policy center, anti, it's a gun control group. He put this, you know, link to their, one of their reports called License to Kill. And it's got a picture of a Texas, you know, concealed carry license, state of Texas Department of Safety. It doesn't say James Bond License to Kill, but, you know, this is the kind of hyperbole they use on their reports. And they have a few good names, and there's also something interesting on one of their press releases uh, on the SHOT Show, uh, last year's SHOT Show. I don't think they've repeated their mistake, but uh, uh, it's a media release that says, uh, let me dig it up, at Las Vegas Trade Show, gun industry puts a happy face on weapons of war. You know, really good camo happy faces, would, I think would be very popular for people to start painting it on their guns. Just happy faces on everybody's guns. I mean, I don't know shooting rifles, paper targets at the, at the target range, you know, is, I think that's fun, you know, makes me smile doing that, you know, when I go down there, and it's perfectly legal, and constitutionally protected, right? But uh, and the uh, Violence Policy Center has a bunch of other reports with interesting names, not just License to Kill. Uh, so I'm going to just run a couple of these names of their reports by you. Let's see, there's one called Shot Full of Holes. Deconstructing John Ashcraft's Second Amendment. Uh, poisonous Pastime. Uh, every handgun is aimed at you. March 2001 report. The case for banning handguns. Every handgun is aimed at you. License to Kill 3. You know, I don't know when that movie came out. Oh, wait, it's a report. You know, I need to write a screenplay called License to Kill. I mean, I don't know. I mean, they have lethal weapons. Making a killing. Uh, here's 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 here, this one takes the cake. Uh, where is it? Here is voting from the rooftops. How the gun industry armed Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Laden was in Afghanistan. You know how the gun industry armed us. The gun industry did not arm Osama bin Laden. Okay, I mean last time I checked, they all have eight Russian AKs or, or Iranian AKs or something. So stay tuned, America, to find out when the uh, civil rights deprivation comes to an end and your civil rights are restored. Uh, the 90-day period uh, for the Embank Review panel is uh, coming to an end in the next few days. And then there's 120 days for SCOTUS, if I read uh, the case uh, report procedures correctly. Uh, Supreme Court of the United States will either pick it up or not. And the nine wise men in Washington will decide, men and women, will decide uh, this case and uh, or not. Okay, uh, so stay tuned.